Jim Carrey at the Huff Po in response to the reaction to from my cold dead hand I never wanted to take your guns away I disagree wholeheartedly with those who say that there are just too many guns out there to control and that more gun laws won't make a difference. Change must start someplace. I'm pretty sure that no worthwhile endeavor has ever been accomplished without beginning and reducing gun violence in America is a worthwhile endeavor. Yeah, we don't know what we're doing. Let's just throw some of the wall and hope that it sticks. Never mind that we're violating people's rights. Never mind that we're, we're doing things that are totally irrational that have actually been demonstrated to have a, a, a negative impact on public safety. These mass shootings and daily body counts on your local news are terrible tragedies. The utter devastation that must be endured by the victims' families is unfathomable. These horrific events are also an invitation for us to become more civilized and to deal with our addiction and entitlement to violence. Not to shut our eyes and ears and scream at those with different position than, positions than ours to fuck off and go back to Canada. I will gladly go back and visit Canada as I have many friends and loved ones there. I am so proud of everything that the country has given to me, but I'm also a naturalized American citizen, and I have been bringing as much joy as I can to people in this country for 30 years. Yeah, well, was, um... Was the majestic about that? Was or was it was it Mr. Popper's penguins? Yes, bringing joy. You've contributed so much to American culture, Mr. Carey. Very much appreciated. Oh, oh no, it's it's Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, really. That in fact, if anything, that's the measure of your contribution okay. to America. I care deeply about our future, and I feel it's my duty as a citizen to do everything in my power to make this a better place. For those who say I'm a hypocrite because I have an armed bodyguard, let's make one thing clear. No one in my employ is allowed to carry a large magazine, and no one is asking anyone to give up their right to bear arms, though it is in the vested interest of those who profit by gun sales to make it seem so. No, Mr. Carey, there are those who are, and there are many like you who pretend otherwise, who collaborate, who work with those people who would want the entire population disarmed. And when you, when you did this video, it was like, oh, well, I'm sure you were thinking of the last campaign with, uh, with you know, demand a plan with, with all the celebrities. You're like, oh, well, I can do a better video all by myself. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be part of the cool crowd, too. They didn't, they didn't invite me to be a part of their demand a plan video, but I'm going to show them that I'm anti-gun, too. And so what, what do you do? But you're not anti-gun. You have an armed bodyguard. You're a hypocrite. And, and yes, when, you, when I say you're anti-gun... I'm not talking about your hypocritical words here. I'm talking about you putting out a video <laughs> that says the reason people carry guns is because they have small penises. Yeah. Or that they, where, where you have this crazy suicide, like, death wish thing that happens in the middle of your song where you're, like, telling a story of a guy who shoots his head off. And, 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 and then a family that commits suicide as a result. I mean, that's pretty freaking sick. Ugh. It's just the type of arms, the easy access, and the means with which to cause massive devastation to good and innocent people that I hope we can limit. It's the quality of mercy, the tiniest spark of empathy that I know lives in every one of us that I wish to ignite in you. Well, Mr. Carey, I have a challenge for you, based on your own words here. If that's really what you want, if you really want, if you have the tiniest spark of empathy, if you want to protect good and innocent people, We'll get to those words in a second. And to the bullies who will try to marginalize and discredit me by saying, shut up, you're just an actor, while they brag about what a great president, the actor Ronald Reagan was, who threatened me with the demise of my acting career and much worse, I say, so be it. How shallow do they think I am? I would trade my money, my fame, my reputation, and legacy if there were the slightest chance of preventing the anguish of another Columbine, Virginia Tech, Aurora, or Sandy Hook Elementary School. I ask you truly, what manner of human being would not? Well, let me tell you, Mr. Carey about a little thing called the Armed Citizen Project. Yeah, that's right. They are trying to arm with single-shot shotguns, you'll be pleased to hear, poor, single women and others in need of this kind of protection. They are raising money to arm citizens so that they enjoy the benefits that you do from your, at least according to CelebrityNetWorth.com's estimated $150 million that allows you to have a bodyguard who is armed.
Is this a privilege? Let me ask you, Mr. Carey. Is this a privilege you want for, for just yourself? For just the people that can afford a bodyguard? For just the people that can afford guns as much as their price has been driven up by people who try to control them? Do you really care? I dare you. Do you know how much good... Let's 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 be let's be really easy with this one, Mr. Carey. Let's say celebrity net worth is off by by a little bit. If you could, if you could, if you ha if you're really worth 150 million dollars, let's let's even, even if it's less, let's say it's a, a third. I challenge you to just a third of your net worth, a third, 50 million dollars. Arm the people who need it for self-defense, who need it for protection the same way that your actions say that you do. In your words, I ask you truly, what matter of human being would not do such a thing? Clearly, you have the money, but as you say, I would trade my money, my fame, my reputation, and legacy if there were the slightest chance of preventing the anguish of another shooting. Columbine, Virginia Tech, Aurora, Sandy Hook. A single-shot shotgun will not create another type of shooting like that, but in the right hands, could prevent one. Would you do it? I mean, you've already given up your reputation, your legacy, by showing what a sick puppy you are. Here's a chance to redeem yourself. I've been aghast at the level of hatred heaped upon me, my family, and the people I work with over a mere difference of opinion on this issue. Oh, really? Difference of opinion. You have a small penis because you carry a gun. Sorry, Jim, you know it was a little more than that. Perhaps my words were a bit harsh at the onset. Yeah, a little beyond difference of opinion. But calling someone a motherfucker is far different than wishing them to die. It is shocking to see this concerted effort to brutally intimidate anyone who speaks of a compassionate compromise. Well, you have an armed bodyguard. Why would you feel brutally intimidated by anything? These thugs, though menacing, are a minority, but they will have their way if good people don't step forward now and make a difference. And that's what I'm challenging you to do, Mr. Carey. Every American has the right to speak their mind. Every American has the right to bear arms. But it is up to every American to draw the line when it comes to the type of guns that they are considered a reasonable means of self-defense. No one is allowed to own a bazooka. Ah, red herring. In a movie theater, an assault rifle with a 100-round drum magazine can cause just as much damage. So don't sit there and do nothing. Contact your representatives and let them know what their jobs that their jobs depend upon change. It would always be someone else's kids in the line of fire. The time is now. Let your heart be heard. Well, this is this is my heart, Jim Carrey. I would like you to put your money where your mouth is. Really, I would like you to extend to others the benefits of having an armed guard that you enjoy. I would like you to seek a more equal society. I would like you to restore your reputation. If you have the guts to do it, I might even end my boycott on Hollywood just so that I can enjoy Mr. Popper's Penguins. I don't want to have a huge that if I didn't do anything wrong and I didn't even get a say in it. Good damn question. <laughs> um, fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs>